Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, friend. Good morning. Has the stream started yet? <laughs> My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. And although where I am in this moment, it is almost 11.15 a.m. on October 14, 2022. Um, in other words, we've all kind of already kind of gotten into the day. Nonetheless, I thought I'd like us to pray together, kind of a welcoming prayer for God and a prayer of confidence, knowing that God is with us and that um, all will be well. And I think that the people who prayed this prayer in scripture, uh, they kind of knew things weren't always easy and weren't going to be looking good. Like the prayer we prayed last night, you know, the collection of Psalms, these, these were not written by pie in the sky people who were rich and in good health and protected from trouble, right? You, when you read the Psalms, it's, all, it's, a very, it's a very human collection, crying out to God in joy, in anger, in fear, in illness, and in hope and in confidence. And last night we read one of the confidence Psalms, Psalm 121. And I think this prayer to this morning is also pretty confident. It's from the book of Numbers. I'll put the reference below in case you'd like to Google it. So it's Numbers 10, verses, verse 35. So this is when the people are traveling in the desert. The people of Israel are traveling through the wilderness um, on their way to the promised land from Mount Sinai. And it says, whenever the ark set out, God would say, Arise, O Lord, that your enemies may be scattered and those who hate you may flee before you. And then the pillar of smoke, I'm not reading, I'm just telling the story. The pillar of um, cloud, the pillar of smoke that was with them, the, you know, the, the, the presence of God would kind of start to move and the people would get in their preordained formations very orderly and they would move. And then at the end of the day, the pillar would come to rest and the people would set up camp and so on and so forth. So, they traveled through the wilderness with, the story says, a very visible sign of God's protection. So whenever they were ready to go, Moses would say, Arise, O Lord, that your enemies may be scattered, and those who hate you may flee before you. So you have to kind of imagine like this, this group, very large group by this time, but nonetheless a group of escaped slaves marching through the wilderness it doesn't mean that there weren't other people there who might be like who are these people they had some money with them or not money that sounds very 21st century they had goods with them that um that they took with them from egypt the people had given them gifts as they were departing so in other words this was a people ripe for plunder and um but they had this sense of confidence at least moses did one of the things, um, anyway, it's one of my favorite morning prayers. So let's begin, as always, in the name of Abba, our Father, Jesus, our Liberator, the Spirit who was holy. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and help us to pray. Help us to relax into your presence, knowing that you are with us, that we can have confidence that you are with us, that you love us as individuals and as communities. Friend, I invite you just to join me in taking a breath to help us come back to now. To take, be aware of the breath as you breathe in. It helps us to come back to this moment. This is where Jesus is, Emmanuel, God with us. And let God arise, arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered. And those who hate you may flee before you. Those who hate justice, those who hate goodness and love, 
those who hate peace would just get out of the way. Get out of the way of those who are your people who are trying to move with you to advance this wonderful divine human project, wherever it's going, right? Um, wherever you will lead us, help us to trust in your power and your and your comforting presence. Help us to recognize you as we go through the day. Help us to recognize that pillar of, of smoke or that pillar of cloud, like, oh, wow, there's God moving, or there's God acting, there's God loving. We're just being present. Help us to recognize you, oh God. And to trust you. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, one of the um, reasons why I glance down at the Bible is because when I pray this every morning, I sing it in Greek. Um, the Greek Septuagint is a long story. But anyway, I sing it, and um, it's from a tune from a song I knew way back when when I was young. That was also based on this passage. You might it might be familiar to you. Arise, O oh God, let your enemies be scattered. Like oh, I'm sorry. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Um, I, I share that with you because. It's interesting that to me that sounds much more polite than God, get up, get up. Now, I am not at all a scripture scholar uh, as far as the ancient languages. I try, I'm learning, but nowhere near able to comment, right? But when I see that verb in Hebrew, it's the same verb you would ask someone who's sitting down to get up, get up, arise, arise, oh God, come on, let's make this happen. It's time to go. The arms are ready to move. It sounds rather um perfectly like ah, wake up. Um, so the song makes it sound puts it in a verb tense like God arise, may God arise. It sounds gentler. So um, I think God is with us and doesn't mind when you pray. You say, Hey, help God, help. Um, as long as we I don't know how do you how do you say this like. We want to pray with confidence while not being bossy. <laughs> so there you go. And may you find that balance and may you find that confidence that God is with you, whatever is going on for you or for the people you love, right? I mentioned today's date, January 6th committee is meeting today. So may God bless all Americans with wisdom, with willingness and courage. To love each other. Be blessed, dear one, in the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. And thank you so much for joining me in this prayer. Amen.